Hi and welcome to this short query elements tutorial. In this tutorial I will demonstrate the drop down filter widget and how to use it with the archive widget. I have already added the archive widget to the editor page. Now let's add the filter widget. See, here we have our filter. And here on the left, we have our query tab, content tab, style and advanced. Content is what is shown. So by default, display title and display search button. Let's add a title. Then we go to our query tab. And here you can see we have tags, categories, and taxonomies. First, let's demonstrate the tags type. So you just select tags, then go to the archive widget. Here we go to the tags section and enable use query parameter. Let's update and go to our archive page and refresh. Here we have our tags dropdown. Let's select coffee, click search. And all the cafes with the tag coffee is shown. So if we select cookies, only the cookie cafe is shown. Let's go back to our editor page. Here we can select our categories type. Go back to our archive widget. And select the categories section. Enable use query parameter. Yes. Change the title, update and refresh. Here we have all the various categories. See if anything is altered. So general was used. Lucimus was not used. So, and the categories and uh, tags and so forth are, of course, site wide, so they are connected to all your different post types. Let's select our taxonomies type and select a taxonomy. Here we shall use specialities. Let's alter our title. Let's click the archive widget and disable the categories. And uh, let's alter the taxonomies section. Here we need to add a new criteria and select a taxonomy. And we'll use the query parameter. Let's update. Refresh. Here we have our specialities. Let's click search again. And the cafes with the scones speciality is listed. So that was a quick overview how you use the drop down filter with the archive widget. If you have any questions, just ask them in the comment section below. Have a nice day.